Good morning and welcome to Dark Shed Live. It's Thursday the 30th of April, um, 11 a.m. Time for a Thursday tea break. How are you all doing out there? Um, hopefully everything's working technically and we are good to go. So uh, last week um, on, on Sunday, <laughs> I started doing some solarization techniques. Um, and I've been doing a bit more research on that actually since then um, and then covering the fact that solar, print solarization isn't technically solarization, it's something called the Sabatier effect. Um, oh man, this is a can of worms. Uh, just went through various forums and found kind of book technical references and stuff. Uh, and I'll probably continue that on Sunday. I'm actually just waiting for a delivery of some raw chemicals because one of the things I found that makes a huge impact on solarization is the developer that's used. So I'm actually going to mix up my own developer to give that a go. However, I did have a couple more experiments. Um, I went pretty much straight to using fiber paper, which is <laughs> normally the way. So I decided I want to do that. And also I used another developer um, that I'd had previously mixed up. It wasn't the um, Ilford Multigrade Dev. Um, I'll just bring that up just to show you. And yeah, I got that result, which I was quite pleased with actually. Um, it regards kind of so the solarization. So, like these areas here, are the highlight areas, and you're getting that nice kind of classic line around the edge, um, which is kind of the first time I actually really got to that point and really really pleased with that so i want to carry on that um, experiment with uh, with a different developer and see how it goes um so that will hopefully happen on sunday I'm, fingers crossed the delivery is going to come today um if not i have to delay out to next week so today um i'm going to have a quick look at uh cutting up some instant stuff um instant films um i've never done this before <laughs> um i've seen polaroid lifts um as a called like taking the emulsion of a polaroid film and putting that on a different material that's quite cool uh so i'd quite like to go to that when i say i haven't done it before oh wrong button um i <laughs> i did it half an hour ago and gave it a go and as with all these things it didn't work at all but i'm still going to show you what's what's in these things in case you've never um, experienced that. So let's go over to um, over to this, try and do it fairly quickly just because I think it's supposed to be a tea break this. Um, so I've got Instax Wide here and this is extremely expired uh, Polaroid film. Um, so first thing I did when I tried this was just cut around the edge like this I just wanted, I was just interested to see how these things were made up um, and what's inside and then you can kind of peel the backing off this get my nails into it so there we go and just split it open those two then come apart and that's like some backing material thing. And then the emulsion, as you can see, the emulsion's already coming away on this one. Um, it was hard there. But I, I, yeah, yeah. Cause it's so expired, it's just, just a mess. So that's what's inside a Polaroid film. You've got the pod at the bottom where all the chemicals are originally set. And on the surface, Instax looks very similar. Uh, you've got the pod at the bottom, and then like a protective plastic over the front. Around the edge. And then I think alright, just need to try and get my so the black the back protector on Instax 
see that over there, you can see it. You can actually see through that. And then there's like a black layer on the back of that. Uh, anybody out there actually tried any Polaroid lifts or separation or anything like that? So he's here. Morning, Mark. Great to see you. Thank you for joining us. Uh, thanks for posting that picture the other day from the expired film. It was pretty expired, wasn't it? Um, by all the dots at the top, I assume that's when it's being expired. Mm. Thanks for posting it, though. Uh, right. So there's, there's different layers. Now, with a Polaroid lift, um, you... Like I say, tried it half an hour ago, did a quick bit of research. You put the part, let's just bring this back up. You put this part in, no, not that part, this part, where the image is, and you try and put it in hot water to try and separate it from the, the plastic sheet, and then you transfer that onto another bit of paper uh, or card or whatever. And the instat, as you can see, it's like, I don't, I don't know what that black goop is. So, if we just go over the trays, um, so what I've got here, I'm going to put some hot water in this one, some cold water in this one. Now, as I said, I've already done this before. In this one here, <clears throat> excuse me, is an Instax sheet that I've been trying to get this black gunk off. This black gunk for about half an hour. I'll take that in a minute to show you. But let's start with the, um, the Polaroid. So the technique, as far as I'm aware, I'm actually going to use gloves today as well, just because you, know, you might have noticed I'm wearing my lab coat. These things have got a little bit splashy with this black goop that's coming out. Um, I've got no idea what it is, so it's better to be, better to be safe. This. So the idea is that you put this into the hot water and with a brush, you just kind of gently wash the water over it um, <clears throat> and the emulsion should slowly start to come off. Now, what I've seen, this actually takes quite a while. And I tried it previously, a half an hour ago with this, and it just was not coming off. I don't know if that's because this is such such expired film. It's well and truly wedged to the, the plastic sheet. I don't know. But we'll leave that in there for a minute. Just uh, see if we get any any changes. Uh, Mark saying plenty of grain on the pan F, yeah. <laughs> Not what you expect from pan F, but uh, that's a little quirk for you. Unless, of course, you're pushing it. Did some experiments a while ago pushing pan F to, uh, it's, I think I tried up to 1600, but I got to 800 okay. Once I got to 1600, I was not getting any image at, at the development stage. Um, so I'm either using the wrong developer or wrong timings and everything. Yeah, as I expected, this is not. not shifting. That's well and truly stuck on it. I, I assume that's because it's so expired. Um, but uh, uh, I, I, haven't, I haven't got any modern Polaroids that I'm uh, that I'm willing to destroy. I don't think anyway. Um, I might have to give get some in just to give this a go. So the Instax, as I said, Instax has got this black stuff over the back. And I'll take this out 
and do it in here so you can see this. But I thought <laughs> the research I did, basically everyone says, you can't do it within stacks, it's a different material, it doesn't have an emulsion on the same. I thought, well, whatever, still give it a go. Um, and I put it in, and as you can see, nothing really happens. And after a while, this black goop, black backing, actually starts to come off. And uh, <laughs> it turns the water completely black as it's coming off. And as you can see, hopefully here, with a lot of kind of rubbing it off, it takes quite a lot, but it actually starts to clear. Now I don't know if there's going to be another phase I can do after this to, to work away the next layer and maybe get to the image. But that is a fairly successful first step. I'm going to put this in here actually. Let's see if we can get rid of any more. Like I say, that's I spent quite a while rubbing it. What's Interesting, so the image, like no matter how hard I rub on that to get this black layer off, the image isn't degraded um, and you can actually kind of see through the image a bit now, which you couldn't before. So it's, it's getting on its way to being kind of like a slide. Um, let's see if this one starts to come off while we're watching. I don't know if you can see there are black bits starting to appear. But look at that as I take away the corner. As a rib at the corner, it's starting to come off. Yeah, very, very slow process. Um, but I don't, I don't know what, what comes after this. I can kind of see around the edges, maybe the motion to come off there. It's starting to, to come off now, actually. Let's see. Uh, I don't, know. I don't know if that's the image or if there's another layer, a protective layer. Kind of. There we go, let's have a pick at this while we're here. Let's take this over to this. Maybe also you can actually see this a bit clearer. Use a blade on this. Yeah, it's, there is another layer just starting to come off. Oh, I don't want to damage. Yeah, it's starting to damage the image doing that. But there is something there that might come off with some more soaking, so I'll keep that in there. Uh, let's put that back in the. That one. So there we go, there's my uh, Thursday morning quick experiments. As always, no success at all. <laughs> um, but hey, this is part of the experimentation, isn't it? Um, if you have experience with doing pedaloid lists, um, get in touch, let me know. Uh, I will hopefully get hold of some pedaloid modern Polaroid film um, and give that a go and see how well that works. I've seen some great examples of, of Polaroid doing Polaroid lifts. Um, and I'll carry on with this in stacks thing because, yeah, like I say, all the research I've done, no one's been able to do it simply because it just the image is different. But if we can get something that's usable and something interesting out of it, then uh, that could be quite cool. Ah, so, uh, Mark, thank you very much for joining again. Great to see you. Um, I am back on Sunday at 2 p.m. for the Sunday sessions. Like I say, if chemicals arrive, I will be doing more sodorization. Um, if they don't, then I'll probably go back to working on this print here. Hope you're all doing well, and uh, yeah, see you soon. Bye.